Welcome back. I'm now answering question number three from the June 2022 Pure Mathematics P3 International A-Level paper. This question is about integration and P3 integration involves um, topics like uh, integration by reversing the chain rule, integration of trig um, functions and so on. And, you know, when you see an expression like this and you're doing P3, then you should realize that you're not going to be, um, you know, forced to use substitution or integration by parts or any of these other types of integration that you can answer the questions using the reverse of the chain rule. And whenever you see a fraction like this, um, then in addition, the reverse of the chain rule involves something to do with lin. And what clues you're looking for when you're trying to do reverse of the chain rule is one part of the expression being of the form or the right order as a differential of the other part. So over here we can see the numerator is an expression in terms of x. The denominator, you have 3x squared plus a constant. Now if you differentiate an x squared term, you get x squared, an x term, and the constant term disappears. So we can see this is of the form where the numerator is like the differential of what's in the denominator. Not exactly, but of the right order. So this is a typical case of using lin as, you know, um, when we're integrating such, such an expression. So to integrate this, I'm going to use lin. Now, the way I like to do it, not how you normally see it, but how I like to do it is whatever's on the numerator, I write it down as it is first. And then I take what's in the denominator and I write the lin of the modulus of that, 3x squared plus k. And then I divide by the differential of what's inside the function, which is 6x. If you differentiate k, which is a constant, it becomes 0. And then you have your plus c. Now, we know that 3x squared plus k, if k is a positive constant, is greater than 0. Okay? Um... So therefore, we can say that, first of all, this cancels out with that. 9 over 6 is 3 over 2. So I can write lin of, and I can put in brackets, 3x squared plus k. I don't need the modulus sign because I know this is positive for sure because whatever x is, it's going to be squared. It's going to be multiplied by 3. When you square something negative, it becomes positive, and you're going to add a positive constant to that. The thing is going to be positive for sure. So you have 3 over 2 times the lin of... In brackets, 3x squared plus k plus c. You don't write the modular sign here because we know that this is a positive um, you know, value inside the lint. You only write that when, you, when you're not sure whether it could be positive or negative. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. So this is um, you know, the way it works out. So you, I like to write whatever's in the numerator, then the lint of the modulus of what's ever in the denominator divided by the differential of what's inside that differential of what's inside that lin, which is 6x, k becomes 0, and then in the end you realize what's inside the function here can never be negative, it's always going to be positive, therefore you don't need to put the, the brackets there, the, the, the uh, modulus sign there, modulus brackets. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Okay, now we're going to move on to part B. Okay, so for part B, um, we are told that given also that the integral between the limits of 2 and 5 of 9x over 3x squared plus k with respect to x equals to lin 8, find the value of k. All right, now, this is exactly the same as what we integrated earlier, except here we had it without any limits. So basically, what we can do is we can um, just use the result here. So we can say that the integral between the limits of 5 and 2 of 9x over 3x squared plus k with respect to x is equal to, and we can write this as 3 over 2. I can write that outside, and I've got my brackets. I can write lin of 3x squared plus k, and the limits are between 5 and 2. So this is equal to this, and this is equal to lin 8. That means that this whole thing must be equal to lin 8. So I can say now that 3 over 2 times the lin of, in brackets, 3x squared plus k between the limits of 5 and 2 is equal to lin 8. 
Now I can now solve this, find what k is. I need to put the values of x as 5 and 2 in here, subtract those expressions, and I'll be left with k expression. So I can also, what I can do is multiply both sides by 2 thirds, in which case I'll have here lin of 3x squared plus k. k limits 5, 2 is equal to 2 thirds times lin of 8. And now I can substitute these values in. So I have the lin of 3 times 5 squared, which is 25, plus k, minus the lin of 3 times 2 squared, which is 4, plus k, is equal to, and this is the same as the lin of 8 to the power of 2 thirds. I can use the power law. And then let's carry on simplifying this. 3 times 25 is 75, so that's the lin of 75 plus k minus the lin of 12 plus k is equal to, now this is the same, if you remember from the laws of indices, this is like the cube root of 8 squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4, so that becomes 4 there. So I can use my law of subtraction here, this can be 75 plus k, divided by 12 plus k inside that lin is equal to the lin of, as I said, 4, because the cube root of 8 is 2, 2 squared is 4. Now, the lin of something equals the lin of something, those two must be the same. So I can just get rid of the lins here. So I have 75 plus k over 12 plus k is equal to 4. Okay, and I can multiply both sides by 12 plus k, so I have 75 plus k equals 4 times 12 plus k. So I have 75 plus k equals, that's 48 plus 4k. So I'm going to have 44 minus, 4k minus k is 3k, and 75 minus 48 is, let's just make sure, Seventy five minus forty eight twenty seven. Okay, good. So we can say K is equal to twenty seven over three. So K is equal to nine. Now in these type of questions, even though it says calculator technology is not allowed, I mean we haven't used the calculator technology in terms of integration to find our answer, but it's always a good idea in a question like this to check your answer. So we worked out that k is equal to 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a calculator and I'm going to set this expression up with the k as being 9 and see if I get the same value as lin 8. So you can use the integral button here. You can put the expression in as 9 times x. Well, I'll, do, I'll put the fraction first. So the integral, put my fraction, 9x divided by 3x squared, that's how you're supposed to write it, use that x button there, plus, now we, 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 we've worked out that um, k is 9 in our answer, I want to check that it is actually 9, we're going to put now the limits in of 2 and 5, and we get 2.0794, okay, so I'll store that as a, just to remember what it is, if I find the lin of 8, I get exactly the, the same answer, 2.07944. So we know for sure, for sure that we have got the right value for K. So we can be rest assured in the exam that we've done the right thing. So that's how you can check your answer for such a question. Um, you know, you can use the calculator technology to check your answer, to, to, be, to rest assured in the exam. You don't have a mark scheme to go by, of course. So you can, ch you can check to see that you haven't made a silly mistake. And if you feel that you've got, you've got the right method done and, you know, you got the wrong answer that, you know, you didn't get k equals 9 and the value of k you got didn't give you the same as lin 8, then you can go back through your steps and check to see if you made a silly error somewhere. For example, you might say 3 times 25 is 125, for example, or 3 times 4 is 7. You might just, you know, just absentmindedly do something uh, silly, a little error, which will cause your answer to be wrong. So that's why it's always a good idea 
to use a calculator to check to see that you've done the right answer in this type of case. Okay, so there's your answer to question 3A and B. Um, I hope that was clear. Um, other questions from this particular paper I've collected together in the playlist that the link will appear in this area over here. Other questions from the topic of integration on P3 can be found in the playlist, the link for which will be over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking in the link in the middle. Don't forget to look at the description of the video to find links to other units and also IGCSE um, work that I have. Thank you for watching and see you soon.